there's going to be some for loops that are going to ask you for different stuff or you want to you want to use different um, variables other than the counter. So let's go here and say we want to roll through a series of letters. So I could go here and say let uh, letters equal and I just go A, B, C, D, e, F, G, H. Okay. And so this is my, my string of letters. And I can go in and I can say, okay, I'm going to make some changes here. So for uh, let i, I'm going to equal that as a 0. So our counter starts at 0. <clears throat> as long as i is less than 4, i++. plus plus. Now, when I run this, notice that it just gives me numbers, okay, because I'm asking the counter to be updated. So it's only going to print i, and i is the counter. And since the counter goes up to 4, <clears throat> it gives me the breakdown 0, 1, 2, 3. I want to print these letters. So I can go in and I can make some changes. The counter still won't start at zero, but now as long as I is less than, and I'm going to reference my letters variable. Okay, now if I go here, nothing happens. Okay, because I is less than letters, because it doesn't understand it's, it's this is one concept. This is one string. There's nothing to go through because letters is only holding one piece of data, and that piece of data is a string. <clears throat> now, again, the string has numerous characters, but the problem is it just sees this letters variable as one thing, and you can't go through one thing because it can't. So here I can go in and use dot notation and go uh, letters dot length. So what I've said is, let's start i at zero, my counter is zero. As long as the counter is less than the length of the letters variable, print, and then add one to it. So and now, again, notice what happened is uh, for let i equals zero, i equals letters.length i plus plus. Notice I kept the I, and so since I'm printing the I, it just told me that there's basically there's this many characters here because I'm printing out the counter, which is what I is. Now I can go here, and I can, instead of that, I can put letters because that's the variable that I am referencing. When I do that, notice what it does is it prints out all of them um, how many times? The, uh, the length of uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It just did that whole thing seven times or eight times, however many numbers or however many characters there are. So what this has done is this has created a counter at I and it said as long as that I is less than the amount of letters or the length of that particular uh, variable, print the entire variable and then add one to it. So it's the same concept. That's why it printed all of them because I'm asking it to print all of them okay now what i can also do and this is where it gets a little wonky is i can add what's called an index to it we've talked about indexing a little bit the idea of the index is that every spot on a variable is a um, is a number and it starts counting at zero so the first instance is going to be the zero a will be zero one will be b two three four five six seven uh, so there's seven total um, character spaces uh, and so if we look at here, um, at index four is the E. Okay, it always counts starting with zero. So zero would be A, four would be E. And so what happens here is every time this counter goes through, it is checking the index of each one of these numbers. And so once, uh, that's kind of how it breaks it down. So this is the index concept. So if I put here, because what this counter does is this counter does count through this index and it does count through this. That's how it knows it's seven. That's how it knows to stop. So let's watch. Oh, don't you hate that? Oh, oh, because I have the numbers there. Get, get, get rid of them, Norman. All right, here we go. So now what has happened is notice that instead of doing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, seven or eight times, what I've done is I have asked it to let the I count as, uh, start at zero <clears throat> as it's going through and um, running through the for loop. As long as I is uh, less than the length of the variable, go ahead and print the letter that the, the letters at the I index. 
So basically every time you go through, I want you to print the letter that is on the index of the counter. Okay, so I'll say that again. So let i equal zero, uh, it's gonna start at zero, and as long as i, as long as the counter is less than the length of this variable, I want you to print the letters variable, but only print the index that the counter is currently on. So this first time through, um, it is going to be on zero, so that's why it put an A here. And so the next time it's going to be on the first level, so it's gonna go uh, the I valuable, or the I value at the one index, which is gonna be the B. It's gonna go now, it's gonna be two. So it's gonna to go to two, it's gonna to go to C, then it's gonna to go to three, so it's gonna print out uh, this guy right here, which is why it printed out each individual one. Okay, so if you wanna quit the video, you can, but one more time what we did is we created this guy here, and so this is the index or the character position of a particular character in the variable. So when I print the character or the letters at the I index, since this, since this counter is constantly checking to make sure that it is still less than the length of the variable, it's gonna go through every letter. It's gonna go through zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're just asking it to print <clears throat> whatever letter is at the uh, counter's uh, space during that, um, during that revolution of the for loop.